We're all familiar with the normal curve, or bell curve, seen in anything from the distribution of coin flips to breadstick weights at your local bakery, from the spread of car speeds on the highway to up and down share prices on a stock exchange. We can even work out the probability for any two-pronged or binomial series of outcomes, say two heads and two coin tosses, one out of four, six straight stock index decreases, one out of sixty-four, or six reds in ten turns at the roulette table. 120 out of 1,024. Or the likelihood of where a random walker will be after a hundred steps, left or right. Or after a thousand steps in any direction, north, south, east or west. It was the French mathematician Blaise Pascal who worked out the theory of binomial odds when he was asked to settle a friend's accounts after a game of cards was unexpectedly terminated. Using his famous triangle, one constructs the odds by creating new rows for any desired series. For higher rows, we need the normal curve, where we can work out the percentage of people in a range, for example, under 5 feet, between 150 and 200 pounds, those scoring an A on a test, or where we expect most of the population in any random distribution. The world is full of normal curves, from weather to stock markets, from coin flips to the local bakery.